So in this video right here, I want to talk about how to protect yourself from uh, demon type energy people. You might call these people succubi. You might call these people narcissists. Uh, in the Western world, they might have certain names for personality disorders, but this kind of all falls under the same thing. Okay, codependency issues and things where they attach uh, toxic behaviors to being with you and things like that. So, I want to talk about that in this video and how to protect yourself. So, you always want to remember that balance is key within yourself. If you are not balanced within yourself, then it's, it's going to be harder for you to uh, keep astray things that uh, uh, imbalance you even more or keep you in balance. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, it might be even some family members, it might be friends that you know for a long time, like you know them since high school, and, you know, you might start growing your hair out and everything, you don't get linings no more, and they gonna start, you know, making comments about your hair, and damn nigga, you looking rough and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, them type of remarks and everything. This just means that you're starting to outgrow the uh, the souls that's around you. And this is the kind of things that expose people who are uh, succubi, demon, uh, or have these personality di issues. When you start acting different and you start acting alien and you start to alienate yourself from these people, they're going to start asking questions. They're going to start getting out of character themselves and everything they're gonna act start acting like a cell within the body that starts to go through mitosis and this is something you can look up it starts to go through mitosis and it literally starts to shake and everything die and then separate you understand what i'm saying so it agitates it agitates their uh, souls that they uh, have possessing inside of them and everything and then that's how you expose them type of energies and things so you know a lot of you guys just be out here dating anybody you know you know sticking your phallus or you know having your pussy stuck up with just you know anybody because you think they're cute or something but you're not really looking at the car facts and everything you're not picking up with your uh your gut feeling because your gut feeling and everything your spirit guys the universe is always trying to give you signs but you just not you just may not be picking up on it and everything so you may be with somebody cute or something and they out here doing some like sucky by or demonic stuff asking you trying to open you up to ask you uh certain things that's uh not conducive or helpful to you you see what i'm saying like certain girls might only try to talk about sex with you right try to always talk about drugs and trying to get you to do the drugs you know it's not really the talking about sex because sex isn't bad but that's a that's another video um but they always trying to get you to indulge in things that um, doesn't help you elevate. You know what I'm saying? As far as you picking up more knowledge about yourself. Okay? So, you know, trying to get you to do drugs, trying to get you to drink. And, you know, I already got a video about drinking and what that does and what, what that allows into people. So, like, if you got friends and things that's always drinking and everything, if you're spiritually awoken, you might notice your left eye or your right eye or parts of your body start to twitch and things. You might have some joint pains on one side. Um, you might start to get the chills or something. Or you just got this gut feeling that's telling you, I don't want to be here right now. I need to go. 
and you you fighting that feeling because you trying to be cool, you trying to support your friend here, and everything. You trying to make sure she get home safely, but you putting yourself in a situation for this person. That's the type of situation I'm talking about that you keep getting yourself into, and this is why you need to start listening to yourself and try to balance yourself out, because. This is one of the things that it help you to see shit before it happens. And that's another video right there. Um, but this was just to uh, show you how to expose and protect yourself from these type of demonic energies and things. They're all around us and everything. Just like it's scattered angels and, you know, star seeds and uh, light workers all across this uh this particular dimension that we're in so um you know it's just being aware of who you're around and how to move around them type of people okay so i just wanted to talk about that if you had any similar experiences and uh ways that you protect yourself and expose these type of people before you get attached to them or um because that's what's really gonna jack you up if you get attached to them you know, that's their whole game. They try to get you attached to them, and then they can just toy with you or anything. And then they keep you from elevating to see the bullshit that they're doing. Okay, so y'all can leave y'all experiences down below, and I go ahead and read them. Alright, so talk to y'all later.